Okay, so graphite equals God, Father, and it was originally known as plumbago, which equals truth, which equals Father plus half a Father. <laughs> like I said, okay, graphite has been used uh, for so long to write with and to write truth with. So graphite equals God, Father, and um, but it used to be called uh, plumbago, which equals truth, which equals Wikipedia, which equals father plus half a father, and yeah, you can pop off the half father, like a PM is half a father. Um, there's some other ways you can do it, I'm sure. Um, and uh, the word coal, all by itself, parallels father, just like the word lord, very similar, with three letters that divide by three and one plus one, the A, okay, coal is 31. Um, and graphite is the most stable form of carbon under standard conditions, okay? And, uh, <laughs> like, look, look at what graphite has been used for <laughs> in the history books. <laughs> like, pencils is the most glaring one uh, for the maximum amount of word learning and truth learning, but there's so much of it. Um, dig into this, those names are important. Um, all of this stuff you'll find gold in. Um, but, uh... Yeah. No, oh, graphite output, right? Okay. Oh, well, there you go. Isn't that amazing? See, there's our answer. Ball and stick model of graphite. It's two graphene layers. Well, graphene equals God's son, and graphite equals God's father. <laughs> really, graphite is just defined as two layers of graphene? Apparently it is. Apparently graphite is just a, a pancake stack of graphene. Well, graphene is God's son. Graphite is God's father. <laughs> Woo! No kidding. Wait a second. So here it is right here. The individual layers are called graphene. Well, there's our answer. Graphene equals God's son equals Jesus. A graphite equals God's father. Well, well, well. So these, there's our answer. See, graphite, which goes to father, is bigger than the sun. Graphene. <laughs> because graphite is composed of layers of graphene. Now, remember the word carbon goes to Christ. Um, I'll bet you can find a 26 uh, carbon in total added to... Um, can you find 26 God in carbon? I have to... I can throw it in the computer real fast. Um, Anyways, ends in half a father. Uh, I'd have to, whatever, I'd have to, I could throw it in a computer. And uh, carbon is raised in honeycomb lattice. No kidding, a honeycomb lattice. Cool. Bond and covalently. Huh. Oh, I see. I see. Wow. So that's so cool. And so that's why pencils are so pleasurable, because literally the carbon atoms just slide onto the paper as you just grind them on there. That is amazing. And then they therefore technically would be like a single layer of carbon graphene, which equals Jesus, God's son. Remember, Wikipedia equals truth equals father plus half a father. So spend most of your time on this website and blueletterbible.org um, for truth. Graphite plates and sheets. History of natural graphite use. Now you have to ignore the Earth is just over six thousand years old, so there's a lot of error in certain dates. But uh, we'll get that cleaned up. So historically, it was called black lead. Now we know lead goes to father. What's what's how is this all going to play out when I that equals great? Okay, you can get the triple L. God's name L. Okay, that's easy. Okay, seventeen right there, and then um, another seventeen right there. And then another 17, God's triple name, L. And then Plumbago is father plus half a father.
Okay, the Latin word for lead, plum bum, there. So the PM is the half father, and it's glaring because it repeats it. Oh yeah, that's double lord. Lord, lord. Um, okay, so the term graphite for writing stone was coined in 1789. So that's how long that term is. Graphite, godfather. 1789, that is over 200 years old, my friends. His name is Abraham. <laughs> Father, he turned. Cool. <sighs> so lots of usage. Um, pencils! Hooray! <laughs> the king! Um, and we solved pencils before, the ability. Uh, pencils is triple god. Triple 26. Yeah, see, this this is why this is the kingpin, because the ability to leave marks on paper and other objects gave graphite its name, which literally means writing stone. It stems from graphene, meaning to write, draw, in ancient Greek. So that's so cool. So this equals God, and then, um, you know, this will be, have its own glory, and you can do more analysis. Oh, well, out of my own mouth, this equals double God. So graphene equals um, triple 26, triple God, just like pencils equals triple God, just like Genesis equals triple God, 78. Pencils, triple God. Graphene, the Greek term, triple God. Okay, gra, God. You get it? Yeah. Um, okay. Play equals king. Was that too Cool. 